Good morning, everybody, on this Saturday morning, and I am making omelets uh, for breakfast. And I want to tell you what I've done already. I sauteed some uh, mushrooms, uh, a couple of onions, and one green pepper. You could also use uh, red peppers, yellow peppers, any kind of peppers that you have. Now, I've got some butter in the skillet, and uh, it's ready to go. Uh, the most important thing is you don't want to overbeat the eggs. Uh, allow about two or three per person. And what I did was I just slightly beaten the eggs, put a little bit of water in there, a little bit of salt, and I'm ready to go. I've also got some ham, and I've just used just sandwich meat uh, ham uh, that you can buy in the meat section of the grocery store. And what you wanna do the key to making a good omelet or good scrambled eggs is you do not want to overcook the eggs. It'll take a little bit for everything to come together. You just want to work with it a little bit and let it get set a little more. I got my skillet probably about a medium heat and when it gets set up a little bit more this is almost making scrambled eggs now if you wanted to you could wait until and not uh, you know stir it around like uh, you would scrambled eggs but if you wanted to wait I think the traditional uh, method of making an omelet is wait to the egg set and then put whatever you want on there, but I'm not good at that. So I'm just going to just make scrambled eggs pretty much and then add the green peppers, the mushrooms, the onion, the ham, and some cheese. I've got shredded cheese here. Uh, you can use cheddar cheese. I've even used uh, the sliced cheese that you put on sandwiches. Now when it comes close to being set, that is when I like to use, put in the, the vegetables. Just put a couple spoonfuls in, put a couple spoonfuls of this ham that I heated up and a little bit of cheese and just stir it around really gently until all the cheese melts and everything is cooked through. Let me remind you once again, you do not want to overcook the eggs because if you do, it won't turn out too well. All right, it is done, the cheese is melted. I want to take it out of the skillet and show you what it looks like. That's how my omelet looks like. It almost looks like a scrambled egg omelet, but that's okay. That's how we like to eat it and it's ready to be eaten. Guys, hope you enjoy this video. Keep the comments coming as long as they're clean. Subscribe to my videos and like my videos.